My name is Clayton Christensen. I just work at the Harvard Business School. Um, about 18 years ago, uh, I decided I would create a new course that had never been attempted before. And uh, we called it Building and Sustaining a Successful Enterprise. Uh, it's an awful name, I apologize for that. But we wanted it to know how important it is to build and sustain successful enterprises. What I love about BSSE is that it, it, its purpose is to help us think about management. And uh, it is organized around theories. And theories are statements of causality. And we wanted to have a course where you never have to say it depends. But rather, we wanted a course where we could teach managers how to think their way through important problems. And that's what BSSE does. When I think back at my time at HBS, um, by far, BSSE is uh, the class that impacted me uh, the most and, and has impacted my life. Um, and I think it did that not because uh, the other classes weren't uh, good or as good, but I think the beautiful marriage between theory and the case discussion helped me leave class with a very tangible takeaway. I view BSSC as a capstone type class for the HBS experience as it cuts across so many areas of the first year experience um, and goes deep in many of them, but also has a unifying set of theories that brings so many of them together. And so it builds a lot upon what was learned in the first year, but takes it to a new and different level, um, so a combination of introducing new concepts, reframing concepts that you might be familiar with and thinking through how to apply them um, to business situations. To me, BSSE was an incredible course to kind of establish a language um, of how to think and articulate business problems. Uh, what it did for me is it took a lot of problems that I had seen prior to school and provided scaffolding and a framework around it to think about them with some rigor. Uh, and ask where does the problem that I experienced deviate from that? Where does it share similar qualities? Uh, and I think it allowed me to actually like, apply theory to these problems that seemed a bit more ambiguous and messy before. So BSSE is pretty much the course that integrates, I think, everything you learn in the RC year. You know, in the RC year, I always found that things were a little bit siloed, right? You were focused on finance and the finance cases, even if there were other things you wanted to talk about. Or in a marketing case, you really didn't get into the things around like the broader you know, environmental context sometimes. But in BSSE, you actually have an opportunity to bring it all together into one discussion, which means it's a much more robust conversation. And so in some ways, it's an extension of everything we've learned in our C year and integrates everything into, into one holistic thing. In a lot of EC courses, you'll have students who are self-selecting into certain subject matter areas based on professional interests or based on um, prior expertise or what they might want to do immediately after graduation or some subject area that interested in exploring industry, what have you. Um, BSSC is for everyone. Um, it applies to diverse industries, diverse um, subject matters, and so um, it's one of those classes that brings everybody together from across the table. Uh, one day I came to class and the student came with a Diet Coke and stuck it on the table in front of him. And I said, what's the Diet Coke for? And he said, Diet Coke doesn't go up market. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, anyway, and, so we want you to understand the theory, but then we also want you to come to class with a sense for, are there other situations where this might not be applicable and why? And it, just as in science, if, if the students will come to class looking for anomalies, then the theory gets better. 
I just have some advice for you. And that is, take seriously the, the idea that when you graduate from HBS, many of your colleagues will have taken the BSSE course as well. And it gives you a language and a way to frame the problem that uh, you otherwise have no way of framing. Um, in some ways, you need to have some of that language to be credible as a graduate of HBS because people will expect you to know strategy and to know place theories. Um, and in many ways, so I, as a leadership consultant now, I'm not always dealing in pure strategy, but the CEOs and the boards and investors I'm working with every day are asking questions about leaders relative to the strategies they're trying to, to pull off. And a lot of the conversations are around transformation and disruption in their industries. That's just the nature of the dynamic world we live in now. And the theory is vibrant because the students help it become so.